Okay, so Monique, yeah. your character Betty, yeah. how similar are you to Betty? <laughs> <laughs> I think they just changed my name. I was like, I know her. <laughs> very, very, very. We're very much alike, except that I have not gone down to the male prison <laughs> to do God's work yet. But I think it's on my schedule oh. to, make, <laughs> to make a trip. But okay. they were very similar. Very, Betty was very aggressive, outspoken. She appreciated her body and her sexiness and yeah. you know I'm, I'm like wow now see we trying to bond with you and everything welcome you in but you getting it twisted you getting me twisted but don't get it twisted this kitchen here is my domain my domain this ain't no kennel then this lab rat got to go got to go do you hear me am i clear i bites dogs Arr. know who i am okay now ditto that so you were the host of VH1's Charm School. Yes. If we sent Betty to Charm School, what advice would we be giving Betty? <laughs> they didn't put Betty Jenkins up out of there. <laughs> Betty Jenkins would have been put out she of the charge. What? <laughs> a charge. A murder charge. We're sorry to announce Stop Betty Jenkins has been locked up. Charm School will <laughs> yes. be off for a month. It's over. Yeah, Betty Jenkins couldn't go to Charm School. Yeah. No. Just beyond. Yeah. Beyond. They put her out of there. You can't talk to Betty Jenkins like that. <laughs> It's over. She'd be like, excuse me, sugar, what you say? <laughs> cut, cut that camera, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I did it. Yeah, get that right there. Come on, baby. Eat from mama. Uh, Benata, you're not listening. Now, I told you to take that dog out of my kitchen. This ain't sanitary. What's wrong with people? Bring damn dogs up in folks' kitchen. Don't make no damn sex. Fish. Thank you. Mmm. Mm. It's a little sweet, but it's delicious. Yes, and that wine of yours, baby, set it right off. The 67 Margot? Yeah. That's a $600 bottle. And worth every penny. Mike, this movie is about family. Mm -hmm. Do you have any crazy family members? Me? I'm yeah. the craziest one that they ever seen. No, but I think uh, everybody has a crazy family member to, yeah. to some degree of craziness, you know. Uh, I got cool family members, but we all crazy. That's a, I, I, when, when one try to say that I'm crazy, I say, you know what? We're all crazy. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, it's true. We all crazy. Was you. you knew I was in here. You's a nasty, common freak. It is a naked linebacker in our shower right now. Now you done brought that little white gal up in here. Now you trying to sneak around and see some black meat? Girl, ain't no fat in trying to come here and look at you. How the hell me my feminine watch? I can see why you can't keep a man now. You got to lay off them Milky Ways and Doritos and Tortillo chips. Get out of here, you sick, nasty bastard. So it looked like in this movie you had to give some real right and lefts. Yeah. Did you have to fight when you were younger? Or? I had to fight my uncles. <laughs> All my life I had to fight. <laughs> you told her I'm gonna beat me. Um, no, no, no more than you know the regular, you know, yeah. schoolyard fight. So, but I think it was just Betty had it in her. I do feel that. <laughs> do you feel that? The gun shell. Did it is a good show. That. Yeah, and I had to flex it. You should do a show about scrawny little brothers that constantly get bit. <laughs> Look at your head. Yeah, but thank you. My next show is going to be about prison hoes oh. who mass conjugal visits as Bible readers. Uh -uh. Yeah, it's going to be called Bible Thumpers or Bible Humpers. You available? <laughs> You got time. <laughs> what you feeling? Oh, oh, okay. You better get your butterfinger eating ass back in the car. I may not hit a woman, but I'll beat a bitch's ass. Oh, is that what you gonna do? Yeah. That's what you what? gonna do? You gonna hit oh. a bitch's ass? Oh. What bitch you gonna be, Scope? What bitch you gonna be? That's what it's like. Scope? Is that what it's like? What bitch you gonna be, Scope? Oh. 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 Look at that. You didn't know. Don't look up. All right. I'm gonna give you a dirty south ass with it. Oh. Come on, come on, bring it back. Bring it back, huh? Come on, bring ah. it back. Oh. There was a 
a lot of buzz, Mike, about your film, Next Day Air at Sundance. You want to talk about that movie a little bit? Uh, Next Day Air is a, is a great independent movie. Um, Benny Boone, uh, first time director, did a great job. Uh, Most Deaf is in the movie. Um, Debbie Allen, uh, Wood Harris, Donald Faison, another uh, great black ensemble. Independent film, and I was just glad to be a part of that because it was a little something different than what I've been doing. Right. So okay. I think it's going to be all, yeah, another good movie too. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, there's a very important primary election coming up. Um, what issues are important to you guys this this primary election with the candidates? I think for me, equality. Okay. That's always been an important issue but it never seems to get addressed. Mm. And I think once Obama is president of the United States of America, mm. we will then know what it's like to truly have equality in this country. Okay. That's right. I feel the same way. You know, if, if we can get a good leader, you know, somebody that's going to lead our country in the right way and, and make us all feel comfortable about being an American again. Okay. Again? <laughs> yeah. I'm down that's with right. him. Him or her, whoever they're going to hire. Yeah. Just get in that seat and put us back on the right track. And let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do it. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs>